If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. All right, everybody. It's Bastion time. We finally got it. The bird is real. We have the bird from set 13. Even though um, I'm not gonna be able to run this at BCS, I'm gonna be using a completely different build, but uh, I decided I'm gonna show you what my set 13 Bastion build would look like. So uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. For the ride line, I'm just sticking with the classic old Bastion ride line. Um, because we have counter charge now, obviously you can do the blaster dark ride line with the wing gold, the Marin, the blaster dark. That's really good just because, you know, twin drive is nice, but I'm sticking with this just because uh, it's classic and we have plenty of grade threes to work with for this. So, you know, just ro rolling with this for now. Starting off uh, descending order, we got our grade fours, which is Bastion Prime. So because, uh, you know, Bastion Prime is basically our go-to finisher, once again, uh, just being able to restand all your grade threes, give them all 10K, and it's really easy to put a Bastion into your soul now thanks to the Owl. And the Owl counts as a grade three with boost, so you just get to restand those for free, basically. Um, so yeah, Bastion Prime is like the kill, the kill card once again. So that's it for grade fours. Now going on to grade threes. We have three more copies of Bastion Accord. So Bastion Accord basically uh, just restands a rear guard for free. And um, you can then uh, give that unit uh, red text when it attacks. So you can kind of lost one, discard a Bastion, gets twin drive. Um, so basically being able to perform four drive checks during the turn is really cool. And then also has that nice protection ability where all your front row grade three or greater, or your front row grade three rear guards cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects, and they have 5K. So that's also pretty nice, just that your front row just kind of sits there, looks pretty. So yeah, we're doing four chord, mostly for the Persona ride. Then we got a new card, which is Skyzen, Skylizen. Uh, it, it looks like, um, it's like a mix between the Stoicaea OT and like Zodiac from Buddy Fight. Um, what it does is when it's placed on rear guardian circle, choose up to one grade four from your hand, reveal it. Uh, if you reveal the card or if your Vanguard is currently grade four, you can do the following. So obviously that's why we're running four prime. Um, it works when you're on prime, so it's great. If it's placed on rear, you pick two rear guards, they get boost. Free, easy, I know, right? The Guardian skill gets 15 shields, so it's a good good shield, right? Because we, we're running a bunch of threes anyways. And then when it's discarded uh, while from hand while striding, you can draw a card. We're not striding, but it's nice that that exists in the skill. So we're mostly using it because it gives two things boost, so you can have grade three boosters just in case you don't have owls, and it has a 15 shield. Definitely running for that. Next up, we're running for Alden. Alden's just kind of a staple at this point. So, you know, count blast two, soul blast one, call a three, draw two. And it gets 5K every time it swings when you have a, a bunch of threes on your board. Four copies of Grander Edge. It gets uh, 10K shield and 10K power if you have a Vanguard Bastion in its name. And when it's in your hand and you reveal it for skills, it counts as two grade threes. So when you're doing it for Rooks and Fort, uh, you can just reveal this and it counts as two. Uh, order cards for grade threes. I'm running two form up O chosen knights. Uh, it gives your vanguard an extra drive if you have four or more grade threes. Uh, if you have three, you get draw. If you have two, 5k. So it's nice it, it adds up as you're doing the skill, which is nice. So being able to give your bastion quad drive if you're on grade four, your bastion accord triple drive is really nice. So two of these. Then I'm running one forward all because it's just insane with this deck. Uh, Search your deck for up to two cards uh, with different card names that are grade three or grade four. You call the grade three or you, and add the grade four to hand. So you can either call two threes uh, or call a three and add a prime back to your hand. So this is just really, really nice depending on what you're needing for that turn. It's also nice because you can just use forward all to add Bastion Prime to hand and then use a chord skill to discard the Bastion Prime that way as well. So lots you can do here, but that's pretty much it for the grade threes. And uh, we're not running any grade twos, so we're just gonna go right into the grade ones. Starting off, we got the boy, Sapient Owl. So this card is insane. Let's just go over it real quick together. Hand, rear, trigger zone. During your turn, if you have a Vanguard Bastion's name, this card gets grade plus two and 2K. So it's a grade three, 10K 
booster. When this is placed on rear, if you have a Vanguard Bash in its name, put a grade three card from your drop into your soul, free soul. And then choose one of your Vanguards that gets 5K. And if you put a card with Bastion in its name for the cost, and if you did not counter charge this turn, counter charge one. There's a lot to unpack here. So it's a grade three with boost, meaning with Bastion Prime, you restand it, it's a booster. Uh, then it puts the cost in for Bastion Prime because Bastion Prime says you can put a Bastion from your hand or your soul into the drop zone to restand all your grade three rear guards and give them 10K. So this feeds into that skill so you don't have to use it from hand. And yeah, you get a counter charge, which is nice because Alden uses counter blast too. And you know what else? Accord uses counter blast for the drive checks. So you can just plop this down, get some counter charge back, get a 10K booster, fill your soul. It's just, this is so versatile and it's so crazy how much this card just like helps the deck. Um, I'm just so glad that Bushy Road made this into a box topper for set 13. So thank you, Bushy Road, for not making this so difficult to acquire. So Bastion players can actually have fun in set 13. Um, we'll just go ahead and finish up our grade ones. We got four copies of Aegis Mirror Dragon. We're not running Elementaria in this deck just because um, Elementaria doesn't work if you're on a grade four Vanguard. Elementaria only works if you have a grade three Vanguard. So the minute you write Prime, Elementaria is just out of the picture. You cannot use it. So just for the sake of not being screwed over by Elementaria, I'm just sticking with the four Aegis Mare. Um, you know, so that's kind of what you just do with grade four decks. Ignis Dredule players know what I'm talking about. But that is it for the grade ones. We're going into trigger units. Very, very simple. We got our eight crit. So we got our Gurgant and our Blade Feathers. Um, there is the off chance that you have to call a random trigger with Fort. Uh, if you get lucky and get a Blade Feather, that just helps fill your soul. Not that you really need it. Honestly, you could run four, I'm sorry, eight Vanillas in this build. I don't think the Blade Feather is necessary, but if you have it, it doesn't hurt. Running Draw Triggers, uh, Proby, just because uh, this deck, while fronts are really cool, don't get me wrong, Part of me feels it's a little redundant with the front trigger when I could get a draw trigger to get extra hand in a deck where my hand is full of grade threes and I need some shield. So Pro B does get an extra five if your opponent's Vanguard's grade three, which is nice, but damage checking draws and drive checking draws just to fill your hand defensively, offensively, I like draw triggers instead. And then we're running four heals, uh, vanilla heals, you know, nothing crazy. Uh, depending, and also like running the you know, effect heals might be good. I'm thinking about maybe running two of the one where if your opponent's rear guard attacks two or more times, it gets another 15 shield just because multi-attack decks are a little bit aggressive and against Bastion. So that might be something to consider, but for now I'm just running our vanillas and then I'm running the Edisfaro. So I'm still running Edisfaro instead of our Martinoa um, just because I do like the ninth crit and I also do like that you can add a card from drop back to hand. So if you want a PG or if you want a specific, you know, if you want Bastion while you're on a cord, so that way you can discard a Bastion for the extra twin drive effect, you can do that as well. So I do like the It's Faro for that. Can't go wrong with the extra crit. Can't go wrong with more shield just because you're playing a deck that tons of great threes in hand. Um, so I do like this. Uh, if you want to go Armatanoa, go for it. I still think that's really good too, just because your full board's full of threes. Might as well get two extra rear guards that swing with extra drive checks. So you know what? You can go with that as well. Just be careful not to deck out. Uh, maybe if you're running Armatanoa, go with front triggers just so you don't deck out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the deck profile. I'm just going to go ahead and real quickly uh, kind of show a breakdown of what the deck is like. All right, guys, going into kind of a breakdown of how this deck pretty much works. Uh, we called off the heel trigger off rip thanks to Fort. So thanks for that, buddy. And uh, we're going to go ahead and kind of show what this turn's going to look like. We're going to draw a card and then we need to discard something for skill. So you know what? Let's just uh, go ahead and discard that phobie that we drew right into Bastion Prime. So then we can use Rook's ability. So we're going to reveal three threes. So Grander Edge counts as two. Reveal the Alden, draw a card. Got another Phoebe, so good. <laughs> All right, then we need to start playing some cards. So let's do this. Let's put down Alden, let's kind of blast two, soul blast one, call the Grander Edge so that we can draw some more cards. Draw, draw, 
that's actually pretty good. You know what else we can really do with this? We can uh, get some boosters, which is nice. Depending on whether or not I had a bastion in my drop zone, I decided to throw this down and go aggro with the form up of chosen knights. But because we're missing the bastion, I think I'm gonna kind of work with what I got right now for the board. We got two primes in hand, one that I can discard for the triple drive, which is nice, or the extra twin drive, I mean, for a rear guard. So I think for now, we're gonna stick with this. Going right into the turn, let's just go ahead and start with that grander edge swing, that big old uh, 20, 28K because of the extra 5K from Bastion. Swing another 18, gonna do a little twin drive. Nothing fun there, but we're gonna restand and give it the red text. And now we can swing. If we counterblast one, we can discard a card, get off twin drive. Twin drive effect, still nothing, but you know what? We're working with what we got. That's just what playing Bastion's all about. So then now we're like, oh, we got a bunch of threes, some shield. Let's see how this turns out. Let's get some damage triggers in when we take some damage. Got a heal trigger. Maybe we're lucky and we heal out of that. Got a crit. Well, okay, we got some good damage triggers, but you know what? Let's say we didn't, we still need some shield. Skylazone, we can put into the guard circle, reveal a four, gets another 15 shield. Pretty good. We need a PG, boom. We can throw that down. Maybe we don't need the Alden anymore, or maybe we want to be aggressive. Keep the Alden and discard the Grander Edge. Throw away some more of our shield. Maybe we got to drop the OT because it's something's way too big. And then we move on to that uh, pretty explosive turn that we're going to get here. Draw, woo, that was a really good uh, draw there. So now we can do one of two things. We can either stick with the uh, Accord and go with that, or we can go crazy with the Bastion Prime. So we're going to ride that. And then now with the Forward All, we can just boom. Play that down, search your deck for whatever grade three we need. Let's just throw down another Grander Edge and Horizon. So that way now, we don't even need to reveal a grade four for the effect. Because our Vanguard's grade three, we can just pick two things, give them boost. Those two have boost now, which is sick. We can play a Sapien Owl. We can choose to put a card from our drop zone into the soul. Pick a card with Bastion in its name. So we picked grade three or greater, put in the soul. Since I had Bastion, we can counter charge one since we did not counter charge this turn. We're still going, we can counter blast. Soul blast. Give our Vanguard an extra drive, give an extra 5K somewhere else. Maybe we'll give it to Alden. We'll draw a card off that as well. So our whole back row has boost and we're swinging with some pretty huge numbers. So we're just gonna swing, then we're gonna swing and then we're gonna swing. This has boost cause it's a grade one. It's got quad drive, one, two, three, Four, at least we we got the heal, but look, we, we got all those Bastions back. Uh, and then we can use this skill, we can Soul Blast a Bastion, restand all of our grade threes, they all get an extra 10K, boom, swing, boom, swing. Hopefully that's your kill turn and they're dead, because uh, now you gotta, you gotta live another turn, you gotta take a damage, ooh, draw triggers, see I'm telling you, draw triggers are good. Got that extra shield now, shield. That's 15 shield, because we're a grade three, shield, shield, shield. We survived, great, cool. Stand everything, draw, we're keeping it going. We're just, that does not boost anymore, but you know what, we're, we're gonna work with what we got. We're gonna call something. We're gonna counter blast two. We're gonna soul blast one. We're gonna call a three. We're gonna draw two. Oh, we're so good. Let's see, what needs power? Sapien Owl, put a bash into soul. We didn't counter charge, boom, counter charge. Now we got two boosters. Keep it going, maybe get another booster because we're struggling this turn, let's do it. All right, so let's go in. Swing, big number. Swing, big number, yeah, it gets five. Swing, big number, triple drive. We still get no triggers, but it's fine because we can just soul blast a bastion, restand all our threes with 10K and swing, swing, swing. And then hopefully we, you, you guys get the idea. I'm just really bad at getting triggers here and look, we got more great threes. But you know, I'm really good at drawing and damaging my triggers, not drive checking them. This deck is a lot of fun. The Owl makes it really consistent. The new Horizon also makes it really good just so that your great threes have boost. Uh, another thing that I've been considering is possibly um, throwing in like a single copy of Dark Strain just because if it's on your board and it's still around, you can at least call that and then you can Soul Blast 2 again just so that you can uh, boost again. That is it for the deck profile. Thank you guys for watching. Also real quick, 
Got to plug the sponsors. So check out 50 cards. You can get sleeves, deck boxes, all those play set bundles. So we got the upcoming Shiro Nui and Luar Stride deck sets. We also have the Triple Drive booster coming up. So you can pick up splits from there. We are also doing a sponsorship with Dragon Shield. So I'm using the Crypt dual matte sleeves. So this is like a gray kind of metallic color. I really like dual mats because they're pretty ideal for tournament environments. And they're pretty sturdy. They shuffle really nice. They feel really, really, really good when you shuffle. And if you pick up Dragon Shield from dragonshield.com, you can actually get 5% off sleeves from there as well using code Nexus. So, and you can also pick up outer sleeves from Dragon Shield as well. So I use Dragon Shield outer sleeves for my nice Vanguard character sleeves. And they're nice and snug all around the sleeve as well. So I like to use the, uh, the Dragon Shield matte outer sleeves. So be sure to check out Dragon Shield if you want to pick up some sleeves or deck boxes. They have play mats as well. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.